Good morning, students, teachers, and family members. Welcome to the 2020 Garland ISD Spelling Bee. I am Jed Reed, school board member, and your host for the Spelling Bee. We are looking forward to an exceptional day of spelling by the 51 students representing 41 elementary and eight middle schools as campus Spelling Bee champions. The district champion and six runners up will compete in the Dallas County Spelling Bee on Wednesday, February 19th, 2020. Before we begin today's contest, I would like to congratulate all of you for being winners representing your schools. Already you have achieved a great honor and we are very proud of you. In recognition of that achievement, you will receive a certificate which will be sent to your school after this contest. The district champion and each runner up will be presented a trophy at the conclusion of today's contest. I would like to introduce our spelling bee coordinator, coordinators, uh, Dr. Mary Shelton, secondary English language arts coordinator, and Michelle Nichols, elementary language arts co coordinator. Our judges today are Dr. Melissa Hill, director of teaching and learning, Veronica Joyner, coordinator of world languages, and Jenny Boyett, coordinator of library services. Our pronouncer is Jimmy Sellers. Our appeals coordinator is Jeff Pritchard. Mr. Sellers. Thank you, Mr. Reed. My name is Joseph Buffalo and I'm representing Davis Elementary. Jumbo. Jumbo. J-U-M-B-O. Jumbo. That is correct. My name is Seth Agby and I'm representing Brook Elementary. Mr. Mr. M-I-S-T-E-R. Mr. That is correct. My name is Valerie Sempran and I am representing Dorsey Elementary. Ladybug. Ladybug. L-A-D-Y-B-U-G. That is correct. My name is Sharon Gwynn and I come from Austin Academy. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is nacho. It's a noun. It's a tortilla chip topped with cheese and often additional savory toppings, such as chili peppers or refried beans. Nacho. Nacho. N-A-C-H-O. Nacho. That is correct. My name is Caitlin Valencia, and I'm representing Coyle Middle School. Keyhole. Keyhole. K-E-Y-H-O. L E keyhole. That is correct. My name is Malika Toll and I'm representing Luna Elementary. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is flute. It's a noun, meaning an orchestral in instrument consisting of a hollow cylinder with finger holes along its length and with a lateral hole for blowing into. Flute. Flute. F-L-U-T-E, flute. That is correct. <laughs> My name is Layla Hudson. I'm representing Weaver Elementary. Bagpipe. Bagpipe. B-A-G-P-I-P-E, bagpipe. That is correct. My name is... <clears throat> My name is Justin Dong from Freeman Elementary. This word has a near homonym. The word is bother. It's a verb meaning to force unwelcome attention or company on, to pester or to disturb. Bother. Bother. B-O-T-H-E-R. Bother. That is correct. My name is Chutka and I'm representing Watson MST. Honeybee. Honeybee. H-O-N-E-Y-B-E-E. -E -E. Honeybee. That is correct. My name is Derek Gutierrez and I'm representing Back Elementary. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is boxes. It's a plural noun. And it means any of various alert carnivorous mammals related to the wolves, but smaller with shorter legs, more pointed muzzle, large upright ears, and a long bushy tail. 
Boxes. Boxes. F O X E S. Boxes. That is correct. My name is Angel George, and I'm representing Sugar. Glimmer. Can you repeat the word? Glimmer. G L I M M E R. Glimmer. That is correct. My name is Rodrigo Bonilla, and I'm representing for uh, Heather Glen Elementary School. Golden. Golden. G O L D E N. That is correct. My name is Absatunya, and I'm representing Hickman Elementary. So this word has a near homonym. The word is savvy. It's an adjective meaning characterized by shrewdness and practical grasp. Once again, the word is savvy. S A V Y, savvy. I'm sorry, that is not correct. My name is Eris Rivera, and I'm representing Four Chance Elementary. Eggplant. Eggplant. E G G E L A N T. Eggplant. That is correct. My name is Ariana Morris, and I'm representing Bradford Elementary. Relish. R E L E. S H. I'm sorry, that is not correct. My name is Jay Soto, and I'm representing Hanley. Shrimp. Shrimp. F H R I M P. Shrimp. That is correct. Hey, I'm Mariana Macias, and I'm representing Sellers Middle School. This word has a near homonym. The word is purse. It's a noun meaning a receptacle as a handbag, pocketbook, or wallet used to carry money, and often other small objects about with one. Purse. Purse. P-U-R-S-E. Purse. That is correct. My name is Lyric Chittister, and I'm representing Gideon Stenham Elementary. Boycott. Boycott. B O Y C O T T. Boycott. That is correct. My name is Forrest Sheffield. I'm representing Rala Elementary. So this word has a homonym. The word is knock. It's a verb meaning to strike upon the surface of something as a door with a short, sharp, fairly heavy blow, especially so as to indicate the desire to gain admittance, knock. Knock. K-N-O-C-K. Knock. That is correct. My name is Lexi Mumphrey, and I'm representing Seoul Elementary. So this word has a homonym. The word is moose. It's a noun. It's a large ruminant mammal with humped shoulders, long legs, and broadly palmated antlers that inhabits forested areas of Canada, the northern United States, Europe, and Asia, moose. Moose. M-O-O-S-E. Moose. That is correct. My name is Genesis Funes, and I'm representing O'Banion Middle School. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is holiday. It's a noun. A day on which one is exempt from one's usual labor or vocational activity, holiday. Holiday. H-O-L-Y-D-A-Y. Holiday. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Good morning, my name is Amber and I'm representing Cinderella School. So this word has a near homonym. The word is cartoon. It's a noun, it's a motion picture made from a series of drawings, computer graphics, or photographs from inanimate objects. Cartoon. C-A-R-T-O-O-N. That is correct. My name is Carden Wynn, and I'm representing Spring Creek Elementary. This word has a near homonym. The word is guess. It's a noun. 
An opinion formed without sufficient or decisive evidence or grounds? Guess. Guess. G-U-E-S-S. -S. Guess. That is correct. My name is Evie Scavlin, and I'm representing Hillside Academy. Chowder. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Dina hunted online for a recipe for chowder that she could make in her slow cooker. Chowder. C-H-O-W-D-E-R. Chowder. That is correct. My name is Kazia Thomas, and I'm representing Armstrong Elementary. Coffee. Coffee. C O F F E E. That is correct. My name is Parker Carlson, and I'm representing Keeley Elementary. Ginger. Ginger. G I N G E R. Ginger. That is correct. My name is Adrian Garcia, and I'm representing Williams Elementary. Bonfire. Bonfire. B O N F I R E. Bonfire. That is correct. <clears throat> My name is Aaron Mendes, and I'm representing Cooper Elementary. So, this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is whisk, it is a noun. Uh, it means a small, usually wire kitchen implement used for hand beating of food as eggs, cream, or potatoes. Whisk. Whisk. W H I S K. Whisk. That is correct. My name's Gabriel Padilla, and I'm representing Shorehaven Elementary. Widget. W I D G. E.T. That is correct. My name is Ian Fleming and I'm representing Liberty Grove Elementary. Theme. Can you repeat the word? Theme. Theme. T-H-E-M-E. -E. Theme. That is correct. Hi, my name is Desmond Kwande. I'm representing Hereford Elementary. So this word has a near homonym. The word is dawdle. It's a verb meaning to spend more time than is necessary or usual in doing something or to loiter. Dawdle. Dawdle. D-O-D-D-L-E. Dawdle. I'm sorry, that is not correct. My name is Justin and I represent Parker's Elementary. Quack. Can you repeat the word? Quack. Oh. Q-U-A-C-K. Quack. That is correct. My name is Diego Morales, and I'm representing South Bay Elementary School. Cricket. Cricket. D T. C R I C A E T. Cricket. That is correct. I'm Leah George and I'm representing Jackson Middle School. Squirm. Can you repeat the word? Squirm. Definition? It's to twist about with contortions like an eel or a worm, as from nervousness, embarrassment, or excess of energy. Squirm. S. Q U I R M squirm. That is correct. Hello, my name is Annie Fam and I'm representing this elementary. Treadmill. Treadmill. T R E A D M I L L. Treadmill. That is correct. My name is Stephanie Rosales, and I'm representing Tola Elementary. 
Crayon. C r a y o n. Crayon. That is correct. Hello, my name is Gavin Davis, and I am representing Hudson Middle School. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is cowlick. It's a noun. It's a lock or tuft of hair growing in a different direction from the rest of the hair and usually turned up or awry. The word is cowlick. Can you use that in a sentence? Unless she used a lot of hair gel and coaxing, Queenie's cowlick caused her bangs to stick straight up. Okay, cowlick. C. O W L I C K. Calic. That is correct. Hello, my name is Sophia Villanueva, and I'm representing Caldwell Elementary. So this word has a near homonym. The word is turnip. Uh, it's a noun, either of two biennial herbs having th having thick edible roots eaten as a vegetable or used for feeding stock. A turnip. Turnip. T-U-R-N-I-P. Turnip. That is correct. My name is Connor Schindel and I'm representing Kimberlin Academy. Permafrost. Could you please repeat the word? Permafrost. P-E-R-M-A-F-R-O-S-T. Permafrost. That is correct. My name is Grayson Sensen, and I'm representing Vandenberg Middle School. Abandon. Abandon. A B A N D O N E D. I'm sorry, that is not correct. My name is Stephanie, and I'm representing Golden Meadows Elementary. So this word has a homonym. Uh, the word is Sunday. It's a noun. It's ice cream served with a topping such as crushed fruits, syrups, nuts, whipped cream. Sunday. Sunday. S U N D A E. Sunday. That is correct. Bless you. My name is Jose Zaragoza and I'm representing North Lake Elementary. So this word has a near homonym. The word is daughter. It's a noun. It means a female offspring, especially of human parents. Daughter. Daughter. D-A-U-G-H-T-E-R. Daughter. That is correct. Hi, my name is Audrina. I'm representing Stephen Delamere. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is omen. It's a noun. It's an occurrence or phenomenon believed to portend or show the character of a future event. Omen. Omen. A O. Wait, no. Can I start over? Uh, you can't uh, change the order uh. of. Your, oh. Of your letters. I'm sorry. So you have to recite it in the same order. But you can start over, but don't change your order. So I can't change the A O. Okay. So A O. M E N is yeah. I'm sorry, that's not her. My name is Tony Dong and I'm representing Beaver Technology Center. Pattern. Pattern. P A T T E R N. Pattern. That is correct. My name is Charles Ma. I'm representing Abbott Elementary. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is novelist. It's a noun. It's a writer of invented prose narratives of considerable length and complexity that deal imaginatively with human experience through a connected sequence of events, usually involving persons in a specific setting. Novelist. Novelist. N-O-V-E-L-I-S-T. Novelist. That is correct. Hello, my name is Rachel Angel, and I'm representing Daughter Elementary. So this word has a near homonym. The word is badger. It's a verb uh, to, har to harass, pester, or bedevil persistently, especially in a manner 
likely or designed to confuse, annoy, or wear down? Badger. Can you use it in a sentence? Judge Jones has little patience with prosecutors who badger witnesses. Badger. B A G G E R. Badger. I'm sorry, that is not correct. My name is Stacy Jones, and I'm from Viola Elementary. So this word has a homonym. The word is alpha. It's an adjective. It means socially dominant, especially in a group of animals. Alpha. Alpha. A L P H A. Alpha. That is correct. My name is Matthew Linares, and I'm representing Carver Elementary. So this word has a homonym. The word is dough. It's a noun, meaning a mixture of flour and other ingredients stiff enough to knead or roll. Dough. Dough. D-O-U-G-H. That is correct. My name is Augustus Fredell, and I'm representing Pearson Elementary. This word has a homonym. The word is sword. It's a noun, a weapon with a long blade for cutting or thrusting set in a hilt, usually terminating in a pommel and often having a tang or a protective guard where the blade joins the handle. Sword. Sword. S-W-O-R-D. That is correct. Good morning. My name is Fabio Bohani and I'm representing Webb Middle School. Bribery. Bribery. May I please have a definition? It's the act or practice of giving or taking a price, reward, gift, or favor with a view to pervert the judgment or corrupt the conduct, especially of a person in a position of trust. Bribery. Bribery. B R I B E R Y. That is correct. My name is Shara Diaz, and I'm representing Walnut Glen Academy. Penguin. May I have the definition? It's any of various short-legged, flightless, aquatic birds of the southern hemisphere. Penguin. Penguin. P-E-N-G-U-I-N. Penguin. That is correct. Now let's give our... Contestants of a hand for the first round. Great job, y'all. My name is Joseph Buffalo, and I am representing Davis Elementary. Casino. Could you please repeat the word? Casino. Casino. C A S I N O. Casino. That is correct. My name is Seth Agby, and I'm representing Bullock Elementary. Bristle. Can you please tell me the definition? Yes, it's a short, stiff, coarse hair. Bristle. Bristle. B R I S T L E. Bristle. That is correct. <laughs> My name is Valerie Simpron, and I am representing Dorsey Elementary. Developer. What's the definition? One that improves and subdivides land and builds and sells residential structures thereon. Developer. Developer. D E V E. L O B E R. That is correct. My name is Sharon Wood, and I'm representing Austin Academy. Bestow. May I have the definition? To give, grant, or confer. Bestow. Bestow. B E S T O W. Bestow. That is correct. My name is Caitlin Valencia, and I'm representing Coyle Middle School. So this word has a homonym. 
The word is cough. It's a verb. It means to expel air from the lungs suddenly with an explosive noise, usually in a series of efforts. Cough. Cough. C O U G H. Cough. That is correct. Hello, my name is Malin Cachola, and I'm representing Luna Elementary. This word has a homonym. The word is boorish. It's an adjective. It means characteristic of or relating to a rude, clumsy, insensitive, or boring individual. Unrefined. Boorish. Can you repeat the word? Boorish. Boorish. B O I S. E. I'm sorry, that is not correct. My name is Layla Hudson. I'm representing Weaver Elementary. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is carnival. It's a noun, meaning a traveling enterprise consisting of such amusements as sideshows, games of chance, and rides in circus. Carnival. Carnival. C-A-R-N-I-V-A-L. Carnival. That is correct. My name is Justin Dong and I'm representing Freeman Elementary. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. K-A-N-G-A-R-O-O. -O, kangaroo. That is correct. My name is Tripp Gill and I'm representing Watson MST. So this word has a homonym. The word is calzone. It's a noun. It's a baked or fried turnover of pizza dough stuffed with various fillings, usually including cheese. Calzone. Can you please put in a sentence? Sure. Jenna's calzone was so large that it nearly covered her plate. Calzone. Can you please repeat the word? Calzone. Can I please have the definition? A baked or fried turnover of pizza dough stuffed with various fillings, usually including cheese. Calzone. C A L Z O N E. That is correct. And my name is Derek Gutierrez, and my and I'm representing Back Elementary. Garment. Garment. G G A R M E N T. Garment. That is correct. My name is Angel George, and I'm representing Sugar Elementary. Galaxy. Galaxy. G-A-L-A-X-Y. Galaxy. That is correct. My name is Rosalind Ponia, and I'm representing Four Heather Glen Elementary. Ingredient. Ingredient. E I N. G R E D I A E N T. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Manifesto. Can you please repeat the word? Manifesto. Manifesto. M A D E F E S T O. Manifesto. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Jubilant. Jubilant. J U B I L A N T. That is correct. So this word could be confused with a similar word. Uh, the word is gelato. 
It's a noun, a soft, rich ice cream containing little or no air, gelato. Gelato, G E L A T. T O gelato? I'm sorry, that is not correct. My name is Lyric Chittister, and I'm representing Giddens Stedham Elementary School. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is pellet. It's a noun. It's a usually small, round, or spherical body, a, a little ball, a pellet. Pellet. P-E-L-L-E-T. Pellet. That is correct. I am Forrest Sheffield. I, I'm representing Raleigh Elementary. Guardian. Guardian. G A U R E I A N. Guardian. I'm sorry, that is not correct. My name is Lexi Mumphrey, and I'm representing Seoul Elementary. Inclusion. Inclusion. I N C L U S I O N. Inclusion. That is correct. Hi, my name is Amber and I'm representing Silver Elementary School. Balderdash. May you repeat the word? Balderdash. B O L D E R D A S H. I'm sorry, that is not correct. My name is Carden Wynn, and I am representing Spring Creek Elementary. Aromatherapy. Aromatherapy. A R O M A T H E R A P Y. Aromatherapy. That is correct. My name is Evie, and I'm from Hillside Academy. Cattail. Can I have the definition? Yes. A tall marsh plant with long, flat leaves used for making mats and chair seats. Cattail. Cattail. C-A-T-T-A-I-L. That is correct. Hello, my name is Kezia Thomas, and I'm from Armstrong Elementary. Mangrove. Can you please repeat the word? Mangrove? Mangrove. M-A-N-G-R-O-V-E. Mangrove. That is correct. My name is Parker Carlson, and I'm representing Keeley Elementary. Conductor. Conductor. C O N D U C T O R, conductor. That is correct. <clears throat> My name is Adrian Garcia, and I'm, I am representing Williams Elementary. Prejudice. Can you repeat the word? Prejudice. May I get the definition? Certainly. An irrational attitude of hostility directed against an individual, a group, a race, or their supposed characteristics. Prejudice. Prejudice. E. R. E. D. E. G. O. U. S. I'm sorry, that is not correct. My name is Aaron Mendes, and I'm representing Cooper Elementary. Caravan. Caravan, can you use it in a sentence? The group will leave Los Angeles in a cross-country caravan to Washington, where they will rally for better treatment of immigrant workers. Caravan. Caravan, C-A-R-O-V-A-N. Caravan. I'm sorry, that is not correct. My name is Gabriel Pitti, and I'm representing Trehaven Elementary. Flabbergast. Can you, um, 
is a definition. Certainly. To overwhelm with shock, surprise, or wonder, as by extraordinary statements or unexpected news, flabbergast. F-L-A-B-B-E-R-G-A-S-E-D. I'm sorry, that is not correct. My name is Ian Fleming, and I'm representing Liberty Grove Elementary. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is arborio. It's a noun. It's a short grain rice that has a creamy texture when cooked and is typically used in risotto. Arborio. Arborio. A-R-B-O-R-I-O. Arborio. That is correct. My name is Justin, and I represent Park Ridge Elementary. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is corgi, and it's a noun. It means a small dog of either of two breeds of Welsh origin that has short legs, a long back, and a foxy head with upright ears. Corgi. Corgi. C-O-R-G-I. Corgi. That is correct. My name is Diego Morales, and I'm representing Southgate Elementary School. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is fabulous, and it's a noun. It's a creator of writer or writer of fables, usually those that carry a moral lesson. Fabulous. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Uh, Aesop is frequently called history's greatest fabulous. Mm. Fabulous. F-A-B-U-L-U-S-T. Fabulous. I'm sorry, that is not correct. I'm Leah George, and I'm representing Jackson Middle School. Goliath. Goliath. G-O-L-I-A-T-H. Goliath. That is correct. Hello, my name is Annie Fram, and I'm representing Little Elementary School. Riviera. You read petit the word? Riviera. Oh, I'm so sorry. Riviera. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Students flocked to the Florida Riviera during spring break. Riviera. Can you repeat the word? Riviera. R. Uh? I V E A R A. I'm sorry, that is not correct. My name is Stephanie Rosales, and I'm representing Cole Elementary. So this word could be confused with a similar word, but the word is pilferer. It's a noun. It's one that takes articles of small value, a petty thief. Pilferer. P I L F U R O. I'm sorry, that is not correct. <coughs> Hello, my name is Gavin Davis, and I'm representing Hudson Middle School. Jamboree. Can you use that in a sentence? Joseph's soccer team is scheduled to play the first game at the Jamboree. Okay. Jamboree. J-A-M-B-O-R-E-E. -E. Jamboree. That is correct. My name is Sofia Villanueva, and I'm representing Caldwell Elementary. So this word has a homonym. The word is gram, and it's an adjective. It means made wholly or largely of whole wheat flour. Gram. Gram. G-R-A-M. Gram. I'm sorry. That is not correct. My name is Connor Shindle, and I'm representing Kimberlin Academy. Firmament. Could you please repeat the word? Firmament. Could you please use the word in a sentence? Yes. Carmen gazed up at the stars. 
which were tiny specks of brightness in the black firmament. Firmament. F-U-R-M-A-M-E-N-T. I'm sorry, that is not correct. My name is Stephanie, and I'm representing Golden Meadow. Tarmac. May you um, use it in a sentence? Certainly. Neil's suitcase was damaged beyond repair when it fell from the plane's cargo compartment to the tarmac. Tarmac. T-A-R-M-A-C? That is correct. My name is Jose Zaragoza, and I'm representing North Lake Elementary. Deodorant. Deodorant. D E O D A R A N T. Deodorant. I'm sorry, that is not correct. My name is Tony Dong, and I'm representing Beaver Technology Center. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is porridge. It's a noun. It means a soft food made by boiling grains or legumes in milk or water until thick. Porridge. Porridge. E O R G G A G E. Porridge. I'm sorry, that is not correct. My name's Charles Ma, and I'm representing Abbott Elementary. Duopoly. Can you repeat the word? Duopoly. D U O P O L Y. That is correct. I'm Stacy Jones and I'm from Viola Elementary. Benito. May I hear it in a sentence? The Benito. A far-ranging oceanic fish is difficult to catch because it is a very fast swimmer. Benito. Benito. B-E-N-E-T-O. Benito. I'm sorry, that is not correct. My name is Matthew and I represent Carver Elementary. <laughs> Officiant. Can you repeat it? And this word does have a homonym, so it's a noun. It's a priest or minister who performs a prescribed religious service or ceremony, and it's officiant. Officiant. O F I C I A N T. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Marooned. May you please repeat the word? Marooned? Marooned. M-A-R-O-O-N-E-D. That is correct. <laughs> so this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is turret. It's a noun. It's an ornamental tower at one of the angles of a larger structure. Turret. Um, may you please repeat the definition? No problem. A, an ornamental tower at one of the angles of a larger structure. Turret. Not to be mistaken with tort syndrome, correct? Say it one more time, please. Not to be mistaken with tort syndrome. That's not, yeah. Okay, thank you. E O R R E T T E. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Marsupial. May I have the definition? <clears throat> it is any of an order of mammals having a pouch for carrying the young and including kangaroos, wombats, bandicoots, and opossums. Marsupial. Marsupial. M A R S U P I A L. Marsupial. That is correct. Extinguish. Could you please repeat the word? 
extinguish. E x t u n g i u s h. I'm sorry, that is not correct. So this word has a homonym. The word is gauntlet. It's a noun. It means a reinforced glove used with armor during the Middle Ages and evolving with such armor to become in the 14th century a covering of small, minutely articulated steel plates for the whole back of the hand, fingers, and thumb, gauntlet. And use it in a sentence? Yes. The museum added to its medieval armor display a 14th century gauntlet bequeathed by Dr. Jefferson. Gauntlet. Gauntlet. G-A-U-N-T-L-E-T. That is correct. Verbiage. Can you use that word in a sentence? The captain taught the sergeants how to write messages and orders in concise military verbiage. V E R B I A G E. That is correct. Skedaddle. May I have the definition? It's to run away or leave hastily. Skedaddle. Skedaddle. S K E D A D D L E. Skedaddle. That is correct. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is vacuum. It's a noun, a space as the interior of a closed vessel, particular, partially exhausted as to the highest degree possible by an air pump or by any other of various other artificial means, vacuum. Vacuum, V-A-C-U-U-M. That is correct. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is calico. It's a noun. It means a blotched or spotted animal. Calico. Calico. C-A-L-I-C-O. Calico. That is correct. Buffoonery. Buffoonery. B U. F, F, U, D, A, R, Y, buffoonery. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Fallacy. Can I please have the definition? Yes, a plausible reasoning that fails to satisfy the conditions of valid argument or correct inference. Fallacy. Fallacy, F-A-L-L-A-C-Y, fallacy. That is correct. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is piratical. It's an adjective, it means befitting or resembling one noted for predatory practices. Piratical. Piratical, E I. R A T I C A L. That is correct. <clears throat> Hurriedly. Can you use the word in a sentence? Yes. Mr. Martin hurriedly left the store after he received a text alert that a severe storm was approaching. Hurriedly. Hurriedly. H U R R I E D L Y. Period. That is correct. Infatuation. Infatuation. I M F A C 
T U A P I O N. I'm sorry, that is not correct. So this word has a homonym. The word is cuckoo. It's a noun. It's a fairly familiar European bird that is noted for its characteristic two-syllabled whistle and for its habit of laying its eggs in the nest of other birds for them to hatch. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. K-O-O-K-O-O. -O -O. Cuckoo. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Syllabus. Syllabus. S Y L A B I S. Syllabus. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Attendee. A T T E N D E E. Attendee. That is correct. Centipede. And I have a definition. It's any of various flattened, elongated arthropods having the body divided into a number of segments, each bearing one pair of legs, of which the foremost is modified into poison fangs. Centipede. Centipede. C E N T I. E. E. I'm sorry, that is not correct. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is fondant. It's a noun. It's a soft, creamy preparation of sugar, water, and flavorings that is used as a basis for candies or icings. Fondant. Could you please put it in a sentence? Duff carefully smoothed the fondant over the cake. Fondant. F O U N D A N T. Fondant. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Hermitage. Heritage. H E R I T A G E. Heritage. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Bohemian. Bohemian. B O H E M I A N, Bohemian. That is correct. Gossamer. Gossamer. G A S S O M O U R. Decimal. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Jalapeno. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Yes. It's Nita stuffed the last jalapeno with cheese, rolled it in breadcrumbs, and dropped it into the deep fryer. Jalapeno. Um, definition? Yes, a Mexican pepper. J... A L A P E N O jalapeno. That is correct. Cohesive. Can you use that in a sentence? Max was pleased with the cohesive feel of the decor in his new apartment. Cohesive. Can I have the definition? Fitting together naturally and consistently with suitable order, proportion, and similarity of tone. Cohesive. C-O-H-E-S-I-V-E. -E. Cohesive? That is correct. So this word has a homonym. Um, the word is installation. It's a noun. It's a work of art that usually consists of multiple components, often mixed media, and that is exhibited in a usually large space in an arrangement specified by the artist 
installation. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes, there was a line around the block for the opening of the famous artist's new installation at the Contemporary Art Museum. Installation. I N S T A L A T I O N. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Cognizant. Can you repeat the word? Cognizant. Can I have the definition? Yes. Aware, perceiving with a degree of controlled thought or observation. Cognizant. C O G N I T Z A N T. Cognizant. I'm sorry, that is not correct. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is insignia. It's a noun. It's a distinguishing mark of authority, office or honor, and emblem, insignia. It's insignia. I-N-C-I-G-N-E-A. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Rudiments. I have the definition. Yes. Fundamental skills taught or learned as in elementary school rudiments. <clears throat> Could you repeat the word? Rudiments. R U D A M E N T S. Rudiments. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Cemetery. Can you give me the definition? Yes, it's any burial ground, typically a large one, a graveyard, cemetery. Can you say in a sentence? Yes, Stan got the creeps whenever he walked through the cemetery on his way to Bruno's house, cemetery. Cemetery, C E M E T. A-R-Y. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Nuance. Can you please give me the definition? Yes, it's a minute variation, a delicate gradation, a subtle distinction. Nuance. Can you say it in a sentence? Mm -hmm. The music critic took notes on every nuance of the performance. Nuance. N U A N C E. That is correct. <clears throat> Sapphire. May have the definition? Yes. A precious stone of transparent, rich blue corundum of great value. Sapphire. Sapphire. S. A P P H I R E sapphire. That is correct. Foosball. Uh, this word could be confused with a similar word. It's a noun. It's a table game resembling soccer in which the ball is moved by manipulating rods to which small figures of players are attached. Called also table soccer. Once again, the word is foosball. Foosball, F-O-O-S-E-E-A-L-L. -L. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Gladiatorial. Can you repeat the word? Gladiatorial. Gladiatorial. G-L-A-D-I-A-T-O-R-I-A-L. Gladiatorial. That is correct. Disproportionate. Can I please have the definition? 
It's not properly or pleasingly regulated with respect to relative size. Disproportionate. Disproportionate. D I S P R O P O R T I O N A T E. Disproportionate. That is correct. Attributive. Attributive. A E T. Can you repeat the word? Yes. Attributive. Now the definition. Yes. Functioning as an adjective. Attributive. Attributive. A E T R I B E I V E. Attributive. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Jeepney. Can you use the word in a sentence? Yes. David found a job driving tourists to and from the airport in a jeepney. Jeepney. Can you tell me the definition? Yes. It's a small Philippine passenger bus converted from a small multi-purpose motor vehicle equipped with four-wheel drive jeepney. J E E P N E Y G E. That is correct. <clears throat> Adhesion. A D H E S I O N. Adhesion. That is correct. Impetus. Can you repeat the word? Impetus. Can you use it in definition? The definition is a driving or impelling force. Ralph's new girlfriend was the impetus behind his new exercise program. Can you use it in a sentence? Ralph's new girlfriend was the impetus behind his new exercise program. Can you repeat the word? Impetus. Impetus. I am E I T I S T. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Prenuptial. Um, can I have the definition, please? Yes, it's preceding marriage. There is an alternate de definition, uh, alternate um, pronunciation, prenuptial, prenuptials, prenuptial. P R E N U P T I A L. Prenup. That is correct. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is realtor. It's a collective mark. I'm sorry. It's uh, used for a real estate agent who is a member of the National Association of Realtors. Okay. R E a L T O R. Realtor. That is correct. That is the end of that round. Great job, guys. So, this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is fraternity, it's a noun, it means a society or club, including both men and women, or boys and girls. Fratority. F R E T O R I T Y. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Olympiad. May have the definition. Yes, uh, it is one of the four-year intervals between Olympian Games, by which time was reckoned in ancient Greece, Olympiad. Olympiad, O-L-Y-P-I-A-D, Olympiad. 
I'm sorry, that is not correct. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is brigadoon. It's a noun, a place that is idyllic, unaffected by time or remote from reality. Brigadoon. Can you repeat the word? Brigadoon. B R I G A D U N E. Brigadoon. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Oculus. Can I please have the definition? Yes, it's an architectural part resembling or suggestive of an eye, an oculus. 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 O C U L U S. Oculus. That is correct. Dubiously. Can you use the word in sentence? Yes. Are you sure the shot won't hurt? Nicole asked the doctor dubiously. Can you tell me the definition? Yes. It's an, in a manner expressive of doubt, hesitation, or suspicion. Dubiously. E U B I O U S. L-Y. That is correct. So this word has a homonym. The word is eradicate. It's a verb. To do away with, destroy completely, eradicate. Eradicate. E-R-A-D-I-C-A-T-E. -E. Eradicate. That is correct. Dishevel. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Yes. Uh, Marie decided to wrap a scarf over her hair so that the wind would not dishevel it. Um, definition? Yes. Uh, to cause disarray in, uh, as a person, dishevel. D I S. H E V E L to shovel. That is correct. <coughs> Circuitous. Can you use that in the sentence? Yes. The road ascending the mountain became increasingly circuitous. Can I have the definition? Yes. It means winding, indirect, or roundabout. Circuitous. Can you use that in a sentence one more time? Yeah, the road ascending the mountain became increasingly circuitous. Okay. C I R C U I T U S, circuitous. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Syndicate. Can I please have the definition? Yes. Uh, a loose association of racketeers in control of organized crime, a syndicate. Can you please repeat the word? Yes, syndicate. Syndicate. S-Y-N-D-I-C-A-T-E, syndicate. That is correct. Rialto. Can you use the word in a sentence? Yes. Tracy and Eric strolled through the Rialto, stopping to look at posters for several current productions. Rialto. Can you give me the definition? It's the theater district of a town. Rialto. Rialto. R-E-A-L-T-O. Rialto. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Tyrannical. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Ron's mother's behavior seems tyrannical to him at times. Tyrannical. Tyrannical. T U R A N I C A L. Tyrannical. 
I'm sorry, that is not correct. So this word has a homonym, a near homonym, duress, it's a noun. It means stringent compulsion by threat of danger, hardship, or retribution, duress. D-U-R-E-S-S, -S, duress. That is correct. Well, let's give these guys a hand, they're just doing a great job. Ipso facto. Ipso facto. I P S O F A C T O. Ipso facto. That is correct. Barracks. Um, definition, please. Yes, uh, an often permanent building or set of buildings used especially for lodging soldiers stationed at a military post, barracks. Can you repeat the word? Barracks. B-A-R-R-A-C-K-S. That is correct. Rhinestone. Can you please repeat the word? Rhinestone. Rhinestone. R H I N E S T O N E. Rhinestone. That is correct. So this word has a near homonym. The word is condemn. Um, it's a verb. It means to pronounce as ill-advised, reprehensible, wrong, or evil, typical after definitive judgment, and without reservation or mitigation. Condemn. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Uh, often custom justifies an action that years later it will condemn. C-O-N-D-E-M-N. -E condemn. That is correct. Vicinity. Can you please repeat the word? Vicinity. Can you repeat the definition? Yes, it's a surrounding area or district, the approximate area of the location or position of something, neighborhood, uh, vicinity. Vicinity. B A S I L. I-T-Y, facility. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Umpirage. Can you give me the definition? Yes. It's an act or instance of deciding in the capacity of one having authority to arbitrate and make a final decision. Umpirage. U-M-P-I-R-A. G E umpire. That is correct. So this word is the championship word. Uh, this word has a near homonym. The word is consortium. Can I have the definition, please? Yes. Uh, it is an organization of persons having a common interest, fellowship, or club. The word is consortium. C O N S O R T I U M consortium. That is correct. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Introduce yourself. Please. I'm Mia George, and I represent Jackson Technology Center. From Jackson Technology Center.